Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame or Project Zero, however you prefer to say it. Let's go to the Moon Shrine because in the last episode we managed to defeat the four princes. Princes? Princes? The four priests, I should say. Maybe we'll get to waste some ghosts along the way as well. Uh, so we need to go back through here. Mm -hmm, yeah, okay, cool, okay, cool. So we've got some Type 90 film. Um, I don't know if I've even examined that film, actually. The highest exorcismal power. Alright. And we don't have a lot, if any, uh, XP. Because we've spent it all. Which is interesting. I'm guessing that there isn't enough uh, ghosty goodness to actually max out our camera in one playthrough. Uh, I might be wrong. I know there's a, like a New Game Plus mode on this, I believe. But I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, let's go round. Yeah, I, I'm sure there is because that's how you get some of the ghosts in the beginning of the game. At least there's one ghost that I can think of. Possibly two, maybe. Um, that we can... Ooh. That we can't actually capture because when they appear we don't have a camera. Okay. So, let's have a little look down here. So, we're going to the Moon Shrine again. Now, remember, there was a puzzle in there, wasn't there? I'm guessing we have everything we now need to go into it. And what are we like, health item-wise? Uh, well, definitely could be better. Let's be fair with that. Definitely could be better. Right. Uh, characters can be pushed like buttons. Oh, right. How the hell am I supposed to know which one's which? Uh, is there like a diary or something somewhere? Photo. No photos, of course not. Why would there be? Um, right, photo of character. Okay. Okay. That's all fine. Square garden. Backyard Priest. Burial Mound. Atrium. So... Um... So we had him in the Abyss. Then we had the Backyard. The square garden. Uh, okay. So let's say the north point. Um, so this would be the north point, correct? Yes. So that would be the abyss. Uh, I think. Um, square garden, backyard priest. So it's the that, <laughs> the backyard priest. So let's try this. So that. Ma oh right. Oh. Okay. And we lost uh, all signal there for a minute. I'm guessing the game's switching resolutions. Yeah, it's going to switch resolutions now. Yeah, that's what's happening. There's a resolution switch happening. Um, I'm hoping... 
that we're not missing anything important. All right. Uh, game. <laughs> this is making it a little bit awkward to play. You know, just, just, just a little bit. Just, just, just a tad. So I'm hoping. Right. So something has now happened. Oh. So what's that? Oh, blood. Red liquid uh, appears out of the hole of the pedestal in front of the cabinet. Right. Something has been taken out of the middle. Uh, of course it has. Uh, okay. Hmm. So blood has been taken. Oh, blood at the door now. Uh, so now we need to find something else. But oh, oh, there's a trail of blood. Spots of something like blood run along the wood hallway. Yeah, I can see that. Come on, you. Have some of that to you too, buddy. Oh, God. We're getting some lag. We're getting some lag. We've got multiple dead bodies. Multiple killed people. Here we go. Here we go. Light them up. This will be good for our XP. Oh, that was a triple. Oh, that was a triple. We really could use some, uh, some health, though. Not some health. Some film. Alright, not bad. But there's still two left. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. That should get both of them. Yeah, double shot. Nice. So I'm guessing our path is going to be lined with these guys. It is a shame that you have to wait for this. Which, when you're fighting a ghost, isn't generally too bad. But when you're fighting three of them, and you've got to wait and watch each one die individually. Yeah, kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, okay, so let's follow the blood trail. Alright, we didn't actually get that much for doing that either. Okay, so what's through here? More blood. Well, at least they're giving us a trail to follow. Well, I mean... We were following a trail. Nope, we still are. Alright. Let's go through here and save it. If we can, because remember, this save spot was actually off limits a minute ago. Now we look good. We definitely need some more film as well. Because we were running out of the cheap stuff. And we actually quite like the cheap stuff. Okay. So we need like some sort of item to go in the middle, which apparently is made of blood, question mark. Hmm, okay. Uh, guess it's this way? seeing a lot here. There is some scratches and some marks on the wall, but I don't think we're going to work. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ooh. There's a big pool of blood in the middle of the room. Does that mean, yeah, that means boss time, I guess. What? Yeah, every time... I'm not sure why. Alright, we're maxed out. 
Oh, we missed. Oh, that's the master. Um, run. Run! Okay, I don't know how you avoid that. To be honest. Because poor Miku here is too slow. Right. Oh, we're stuck. Let's see how good this film actually is. Come on, buddy. Come on. Right, there we go. Run! Okay, we actually avoided him that time, which is quite nice. Alright. Oh, whoa. Did we not do any damage to him? 100 damage? Wait. I'm confused. Do we have to fight him? Uh, I have no idea. I guess what we could do. Maybe try using some more powerful film. Not quite a bit of that. Let's use that. Right, let's see if this is going to do anything. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, that's a cool game. That's fine. We don't mind that. Oh, right. That actually hurts him. That is hurting him. Right. Run, Miku. Oh, my God. Oh, man. The fighting is... Like, when you're fighting actual big nasty things, the fighting is utter dog shit. Okay, well, we took him in. Yeah, you like, how are you meant to move? You can't move. Oh. I mean, I guess he's supposed to be a boss fight, so... We can give him a little bit of forgiveness on that. Let's put that... Um... We didn't use a lot of film, I suppose. Uh, let's go back to that stuff. Uh, can we go back? Oh, wait. Hang on. What's the stats? Family Buster. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we got that, so that's cool. Right, let's get the frick out of here. I guess now we've done everything. We just need to get back. Definitely going to save it. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, as soon as we use the seal... And this is a guess. Is that going to be the end and put us on to the final night? Oh, sugar. Oh. Really? Fucking really? I mean, I guess that's my fault for having no health, but... I was just about to say, we're right at the end of this bloody night so uh, we're going to uh, get a free full heal but I guess not that was my own stupidity there really uh, so we've lost our mirror well uh, that's fine I suppose can't be helped we could have been helped by me not being stupid but I guess me not being stupid isn't really my MO now is it me being stupid is kind of par for the course of these videos, as I'm sure most people are starting to get. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're close to the last uh, bit now. Or the last night, anyway. Uh, now, I have been warned about the ending of this game. Um, which, let's just say I'm not looking forward to it. 
Mainly because the ending, there's a lot of fighting and a lot of like chances. So I've been told to get killed after the final save of the game. And there's a good chunk of game that you have to replay if you die anywhere towards the end. I've even heard that there's a possible case of dying after you've defeated the final boss, which I've also heard is quite a hard battle. Uh, wait a minute. Before I do this... Did we grab that stone mirror up there? I'm going to go check. I can't remember. Right, I'm going to pause it, guys. I'm going to go all the way over there and check, see if I grab the stone mirror. Okay, so uh, we're back, guys. Right, I did take a pilgrimage all the way to the shrine, and all that happened is we fought about a thousand ghosts. Uh, not actually exaggerating. Might have been several thousand. Maybe ten thousand. Who knows? It was a lot of ghosts. Uh, we got lots of damage, and we found no items. So I'm kind of glad I cut that out. The ghosts were just loads of the killed people. Um, they weren't too bad, apart from in the fish tank room, where they actually pinned me uh, really cheaply into a wall, where I couldn't really fight them, and um, drained all of my health. So, yeah, that was fun. Not. Right, okay, let's bring this home. There's a place on a pedestal. Yeah. Let's put in the master's seal. And see what that does. Ooh. S summons a spoopy hole. Okay. Down here. Yeah, you might want to turn your light on. I mean, don't let me tell you how to, you know, do your thing, but... Oh, this place is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, spoopy. I think our light's broken. Ooh. Ah, it's the last piece of the mirror, I guess. Is there anything else in here? There's a door. Oh, there's a save spot. <laughs> That's useful. Fuck yeah, I'm going to save it. Do I look like a fool to you? Well, probably. Don't answer that. But yes. If I get the opportunity to save, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to save. Uh, any goodies in the corner or anything? No. Right. Uh, can we be cheeky and go through this door? No. No, we can't. Oh, that is... That is rather yummy now, isn't it? Okay. A female mummy is enshrined in a hollow rock here. The holy mirror is on a stone in front of the mummy. There's a recess in the stone. Something was removed. I have almost all of the pieces of the holy mirror. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Why does it keep doing that? It never used to. Okay, so we saw... At least we saw the cutscene. We just didn't see the transition. No. Kyrie. Uh... I say, yeah, you might want to like climb, put a bit of effort into it, Miku. Um, of course. Ah, it's that girl again, saving us. Kind of. 
Yeah, I don't know why uh, this game is bugging out my capture card. Wait. Says the little girl, the shrine maiden. Um. I guess the little girl is the shrine maiden. So what's Kyrie? What what's what's her business here then? I don't know. Yeah, this whole resolution thing that's tricking out my graph uh, my graphics card, my capture card, uh, that never happened before. <laughs> and um, I'd like to say, well, I have changed this setting and this setting and this setting, but uh, I really haven't actually changed anything at all. So I'm guessing it's something to do with the game, switching resolutions between the actual game and the cinematics. Thank you, YouTube. There's a bit of Dark Titan Empire there. Yeah, I'm assuming that the uh, the the videos are rendered at a different resolution to the game. Maybe they compress them further towards the end of the game. I don't know. Okay, so let's exit out. Or maybe my PlayStation's just being old. Right, let's continue. Final night. Oh, final night. Kyrie. Okay. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be proper hard. Is it? Who are you? Who is she? Yes. She does keep helping us. Just a regular Koto. There's nothing special about it. Am I supposed to play something? Uh, yeah, maybe. I guess. I'm hoping... Ooh, I was going to say, I'm hoping there's some supplies here. Uh, there is some old Koto sheet music on the desk. I picked up the Koto sheet music. It's an old song, but I think I can play it. Okay. It's a good thing that we're a bit of an expert. Now well, let's play it and see what happens. Is this going to awake the evil spirits? Oh. That's a beautiful sound coming from that thing, isn't it? Oh, stairs. Well... <laughs> Uh, I never saw that, I guess. Okay, uh, Miku, can you please go in the right direction? Thank you. Ooh. Oh, where are we now? We're in the attic. Okay. Light is shining through a hole in the floor. Okay. Uh oh. I've seen enough special interest movies to have an idea what that is. Who's that? Who is that? Okay, it's a head, a random floating head, well, sure, okay, we've actually got a lot of points now, don't know how we get those special functions, so we can use the C function, the slow, ah, oh, not quite use the slow, uh, right, so search for locations of ghosts and track them automatically. I don't, I mean, maybe that's useful. I can't really see it being that useful. 
Um, slows down the ghost's movements for a limited to limit. Can I talk? Limited time. That actually sounds quite good. As does push ghosts back. That also sounds quite good. Um, but see and search don't seem to be that useful. I might go for slow next. But then if you've got paralyze. Yeah, I might go for pressure then, so you can push them back. Yeah, I might give that a go. Uh, I think I can see the second floor hallway through the peephole. Right, let's get out of here. Ooh. I can hear some spoopy nonsense. Well, whatever it was, it was back there. Herbal medicine, that's nice. I think I can see it. Ah, there we go. Long-haired woman. All right. I guess that's where the headless long-haired woman died. Right, so we're up to 18,000. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Enable pressure. The thing is, paralyzed just seems like the best move, I guess. You know? Right, let's get out of it anyway. Ooh, there's some more items here. Um... Please don't look in the hole in the wall. Remember what happened last time? Uh, I guess that's... Yeah, I was going to say, I guess that's Kiri. Kyrie. Kyrie? I don't know the pronunciation, and like I say, I don't really care. Okay, we're still in this strange maze of tiny doors. Ah, is this? Ah, oh, this is the Buddha room. Okay, it's not the room I thought it was going to be, but I mean, cool. Oh, there's a save room up here. What? I mean, sure. We will take this opportunity to save the game. Because why not, I guess. We're actually right at the end now. We're on 28 minutes, so I might just leave this video here. Um, I'm going to return back to the game. I'm seeing some items down here. So I'm also thinking... We're going to be doing a little bit of exploration. Type 90 film. Damn, dude. I'm also getting some control pad vibrations, which I'm guessing means somewhere up here. There is another shot of opportunity. But I can't see the filament lighting up. I think it's going to be further over here. Damn, Miku. You know, sometimes, Miku, I think you can't get any slower. And then you surprise me. Did you say surprise me or disappoint me? I don't know. It's got to be said, uh, I think that's one of the biggest frustrations with this game. Is just... Ah, how incredibly, frustratingly... Truth Binder slow she is like it she's ridiculously slow ridiculously slow inhumanly slow right so what do we get for that truth binder I got like nothing for that interesting right anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there uh, when we come back I guess we're gonna go uh, down the Buddha room somehow this is quite an interesting place to be. Um, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this now. Now we're on the final stretch of the game. However, I'm expecting it to be 
quite challenging to say the least, but we shall find out anyway. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time. <laughs>